Today, I'm going to be with you on the bars of Maggie. Not just get one with you, you get two with you in one day. Just feel like making two with you in one day. Today, I'm with you on bars of Maggie. I know a lot of people hate this show, but I found the show to be pretty underrated. I enjoy this show. It's very entertaining, but the worst Disney show is always Pickle and Peanut. Let's start the review. Hey guys, it's Amber Rocks, Strikes Back once again, and I hope you guys enjoyed the um, the Family Guy review I did today. That was actually a lot of fun to make. So today, I'm going to review on the Buzz of Magnet came of the year of 2005, the same year as Star Wars Revenge of the Sith came out. So the basic plot is it's about Maggie and, his, and her family, her mom, her dad, her two brothers, and her sister, Bella. That's why she's a baby. They go on great adventures, and Maggie hands up with Rhea. And that's basically what the plot is. Now, to be honest, guys, this ain't a joke. I didn't grow up with a show. That's right, guys. I didn't watch a show when I was a kid. I wasn't even aware of this show. I think I may have seen a promo for it on Disney Channel, Disney, Disney Channel back in the day. I may have. I think it was like watching House of Mouse. I may have saw a promo for it. I don't know. It's been a long time. But I don't think the show aired in my area. I'm not, I'm not really too sure. So, honestly, guys, that's the joke, guys. I didn't grow up with this show. I didn't, know, I didn't know much about Buzz and Maggie at all. I didn't know, I didn't know about Buzz and Maggie until 2013, 2014 when I was watching Watchboard, Watchboard.com's top 10 most hated Disney show list. And it was actually on that list. And I was like, it can't be that bad. And I did a review of it back in 2017. That was my old channel. And yeah, that video is gone because my old channel got terminated. If you guys remember, if you have known me for that since 2016 or 2014, my old channel. I did with you on it and I watched the show. I finished it after before I went to go see one day before I went to go see Justice League. And that was four years nearly four years ago. Jesus, it's been that long. So honestly guys, Buzz and Maggie is extremely underrated. I know there's some people out there hate the show, like um Mr. Bell, Lot Sick, hate the show, and Gina Jean Frank, aka um Trolls Fanat Han Trolls Hanama Fanatic 2007 hate the show and um i do i i do understand why they hate the show i can handle their opinion but in my opinion it's an underrated show i mean people say buzz mag is the worst disney show i've made seriously have you seen pick on peanut that's the worst disney show i've ever seen in my life so i haven't seen the show for a very long time so i know and there's also before i start getting to the characters there's actually a youtuber i know no, one YouTuber I know, he's a good YouTube friend of mine, uh, Justin Thomas, he loves this show, this is his favourite Disney show of all time, and I think Jack the Maker, Jack the Maker guy likes his show, I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask him in, in, in his video, so, alright guys, let's get into the, um, the characters, um, we have Maggie, who is playing by the same actress who played, um, Lucy Loud and Luna from, I mean, Lucy Loud and Lynn Loud from The Loud House, She's a cute character, I do like Maggie. Um, and she has two brothers named Pubert and Walden. I think his name is Walden. He is played by the same actor played Danny Franton. And they're great characters, I do like them. Um, I think Walden's a great character. He's, that, he's Maggie's older brother. And uh, he's also my plus fanboy's favorite character of Buzz and Maggie. And Raina, which is Maggie's, I mean, Maggie's best friend, she's cute. I, she's a good character, I like her. And she's voiced by the same actors who play Cleo in Cliff the Bit Red Dog, the TV show, which I haven't seen the clip the bit right dog the TV show in years, so guys let you know I'm still not excited for the movie coming in 2021. Oh boy, that film is gonna ruin my childhood. We have to wait and see until the trailer comes up. It's like I'm still not looking forward to that movie. Back to the topic, guys. And then I mean Maggie's parents, yeah, they can be mean to Maggie sometimes, but they're a good character, I guess. I do like them. And now let's get into the animation. The animation, yeah, it's a bit outdated, but the animation is pretty good. This is literally fish hooks with flies. That's how I'm gonna describe it. It's basically fish hooks with flies. Sorry guys, I had to check on something back I was saying. And also we have Bella, who is Maggie's little sister. And of course, we're gonna get into the one character I absolutely hate. 
that me, Justin Thomas, you made fun of her back in 2017 on Google Hangout. Don Swartz War 3, aka Dick, Sick, Dick Shit War 3. Oh my god. She is the worst character of the Buzz and Maggie. She's such a bully to, 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 to Maggie and Raina. And I also like the episode when uh, Maggie and Raina, it's, 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 the megaphone say, Dawn stinks, Dawn stinks, Dawn stinks, Dawn stinks. I'm going to be honest, I was in love with my buff. That, that scene was absolutely hilarious. That's one of the funniest moments of the entire show. That show, that line was so freaking funny. Imagine Maggie and Raina say it in front of Dawn, then she'll probably get mad. Honestly, that is so hilarious. And she's voiced by Tara Strong. And I love Tara Strong. But her worst role is Teen Titans Go Raven. They ruined that character big time. Which I don't want to, to get started on Teen Titans Go. Because you guys know how much I despise that show. If you know me for a long time. Still one of the worst shows ever made. But you guys already know what I mean. Back I was saying. And um, and I also like the episode. The very first episode was actually, was actually pretty good actually. Flyinator, which is basically a reference to the, it's basically like a parody to uh, to the Terminator movies. And I gotta say, as yeah, Terminator is a fantastic movie, amazing brain masterpiece movie. That is a really awesome reference to Terminator. Honestly, they could have referenced uh, Star Wars because apparently it, 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 this show came out the same year as Star Wars: Revenge of the Sith. They call it Flyinator, but if they did parody Star Wars, they could call it Fly Wars. That would make a really cool parody, but. Oh no, that was actually a great episode. I also like the and also Justin Thomas' favorite episode on the Buzz and Maggie was was a um, summer party where uh, Maggie uh, where Maggie and Raina were hosting a summer party with those flies and and uh, while the while um, Maggie's parents and old old and pupil were away and yeah that was actually a pretty funny a pretty entertaining episode and but despite and also the principal was pretty good as well but guys. And then we had to get into some flaws. The story, yeah, the story we have it before, but it's actually a good story. But my only complaint about the, the, the show is the 21 episodes. This show was lot was only lost for one season and 21 episodes. That is honestly shocking because honestly, when the show came out, it has received um, negative to positive to mixed reviews. From critics, people say it's a terrible show. I mean, seriously, I, I do understand why people hate the show, but I just think the show is a pretty good show. But honestly, it couldn't last for two or three seasons, and then it would be pretty cool if they, if they ended. But honestly, this is a pretty forgotten show, and this is probably the most underrated Disney show I've ever watched, actually, surprisingly. Now, don't get me wrong, the show is not perfect, but I, I still enjoy the show as it is. I mean, it's still an entertaining show, but. Personally, I do bef I do slightly prefer Star vs. The Force Evil and Amphibia now, nowadays. And yes, um, and you guys wondering, yes, I have watched season two of Amphibia. I will be watching the series, the season two finale next around Sunday online. So that, that's what I'm gonna let you know. So honestly, guys, despite some nip, despite one nitpick of the show, only lasted for. 21 episodes. Overall, I still enjoy the show as it is. I first watched the show back in November 2017. It took me about four days to finish it. And the day I actually finished it was actually one day before I went to go to the cinema to see Justice League. That's right. I actually finished the show one day before I went to go see Justice League. It took me about four or five days to finish the show. So that's right, guys. So overall, I give this show like an 8 and 9 out of between 8 and 10. Because the reason why I give it an 8 out of 10 because... Or seven between seven and eight out of ten because this show only is, is quite short. It only lasts for um for it only lasts for um it only lasts for twenty one episodes and it only lasts for a year. After one year, the show ended. That's right. It got cancelled straight away, probably due to low ratings and stuff. So overall, that's my review on the Buzz Maggie, and that's the review I'm doing today. So um, you get two reviews in one day. So I hope you guys will hope you guys will enjoy the review. So so my next review is. I don't know actually. It's I haven't decided what my next video is now, guys. Let me know. I decide. You can request any video you want, but I'll decide what is next with you. I forgot. And this is also a request. Whoever requested this with you, thank you very much for the request. I actually appreciate the request. So I'll decide what the next video is. I'm not sure what my next video is because apparently coming in uh, four days is going to be my 23rd birthday. So that doesn't let you guys know. And I will review Mitchell versus the Machines in the future. So. 
I won't review it straight away because I, I got because my birthday is, is around the corner, so I will review it eventually, just like a sponge on the run. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel and like and share with your friends. And what do you think of the show? Is there anybody out there that likes this show? Or you like other people, or you thought the show is bad, and you just think it's the worst digital show ever made, or you just don't understand, or you just don't really care for it. But honestly, I think it's an interesting show. I forgot to mention the theme song is actually really catchy. I, I forgot to mention the review. So, yeah, the, the theme song is actually catchy, but on and that, this show gets an 8 out of 10. It's a good show. I still enjoy it, but it could have been better. I, I it it would have been awesome if it only made two or three seasons so the show can have a, a great build up to um, It might be. You know what I mean. So, anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed the review and subscribe to my channel. Like and share with your friends and I don't know what the next video will be. As for rants, um, I might do a rant on 7D. We'll have to wait and see. So, thank you guys for watching and goodbye!